Hello and welcome to You Felty Thing. Now that the madness of the opening weekend is over, I thought that I would do a quick video to show you around the shop and let you have a proper look at the new You Felty Thing. So here we go. As we walk in through the front door, you are hit with this wall of colour. I will just walk along so that you can see. We've got 17 different hand dyers, uh, as well as four different hand spinners. And we also have some silks and some um, undyed as well. Um, we've also got various project bags, as you can see, dotted along. Um, and if I turn round, you can see we have felty and spinny sections along with hand carded bats, hand dyed fibres, silks, accent fibres, unusual fibres, blends, all sorts. We've got lots of plaits. We've got various sort of examples dotted up around of how the different yarns knit up and we've got some commercial wool as well. So we've got some West Yorkshire spinners and some Noro. Uh, we've got some Adria fill, um, some UK alpaca, uh, among others. So we've also got some crochet cottons and that sort of thing. We've got some lovely felt kits. Um, we've got all sorts of big boxes of yummy fibre for felting and spinning. Um, and that's the that's the, it's a bit dark outside at the moment, so um, I won't bother showing you the front of the shop, but that's the window from the inside. And then as we go round over this way, we've got lots of pre-felt for, again, felting onto, involving in your projects, that sort of thing. We've got buttons, we've got needles, we've got eyes, we've got felting needles all sorts of sewing paraphernalia ribbons hooks you name it we've got again more different types of crochet cottons and things going on down here we've got card making bits and jewelry making and sort of kids crafts and that sort of thing um, this foam up here is very useful for using as resists if you're doing wet felting um, and then we have the fabric section. So we've got various bits down here. Um, we've got oh, we've got some more sort of made up bits here. Um, and we've got this fabric storage unit was carefully built by my partner, Glyn. Um, and it's been brilliant so far. Um, so, yeah, we've got lots of. Lots of shiny bits up here. Um, these are some of my favourites, these ones. And then we have what I'm calling the cosy corner. Well, the curtain's slightly rucked up at the corner. But it's somewhere that you can come for knit and natter, crochet chatter, uh, sit and do some felting, just sit and have a cup of coffee and a chilling out session, really. Um, so yeah, so that's the brief tour. Um, so I'm going to go back up now and I'm going to talk you through the different dyers that we've got in the store. OK, so starting off as we walk in the door, this lovely four shelves here is Abercairn, which is done by a lovely lady called Desiree. Um, her colourways are inspired by Scottish Highlands and they're just they're just gorgeous. Um, she does lace, weight, four ply and double knit. Um, she also does things like this where you get a coordinating mini and she does these which are 150 gram shawl, shawl skeins so that you can get sort of slightly more out of the same skein of yarn. Uh, going down here, these ones at the bottom, we've got, this is Shonach, uh, which is a lady called Sophie. Um, these are all dyed using natural plants, 
Um, so she's she uses red onion and berries and walnuts and all sorts of different things and the, the colours she gets out of them are absolutely gorgeous. Um, coming back up here, these four shelves here are Cat and Sparrow. Uh, Rachel's lovely um, and she also sends me some gorgeous fibre um, which we'll get to in a minute. Um, so she's just sent me some more today. So the bottom two shelves were not were not here uh, on the open day on Saturday. So um, we've got lots of lovely things. We've got everything from lace through to double knit. Um, but if I say this is a double knit, <laughs> it's it's so squishy you could probably pass it off as a thicker. Um, a thicker yarn if you needed to. Um, then lower down, we've got my shelf, second from bottom there, which is, to be honest, a bit thin on the ground because I haven't had much chance to dye recently. Um, just because with everything going on with the shop, it's just, there just aren't enough hours in the day. So it's a good job that I've got everybody else, really. Um, and then down on the bottom there and spreading across the bottom of that one, we've got Woolly Tangle. Tanya's not been dying for awfully long, but she does some lovely plain colours. Um, and she also makes all of the fantastic uh, project bags that are dotted up around the shop, such as this one. Um, and she also makes stitch markers and things like that. Uh, so above Woolly Tangle, we've got Sharni's Yarnies. Um, these are brilliant. If you want to do a fade project of any kind, then you can just pick your favourite three of these and it would just fade through beautifully. Um, so they're, they're really gorgeous, cool. lovely spring colours as well. So I think they'll do well after Christmas. Um, next up, we've got Bear in Sheep's Clothing. Uh, sort of at the two sides there. Um, lovely sort of earthy colours, I suppose. Um, but the the wool is just, it's all so squishy and lovely to work with. And you, some of them you'd look at and think that's that must be an Aaron or whatever. But no, that's a double knit. Um, and this one up here, which looks equally huge is actually a four ply um so yeah but they're they're gorgeous wools absolutely gorgeous um and then if we go up a bit those two rows at the top are temporal spin which is Rianne. um she's brilliant she's self-confessed sci-fi geek so all the colorways are named after sci-fi so um, up at the top here we've got psychedelic bifrost and hawkeye um, and moving through i'm always angry um to all of time and space and then we've oh i've forgotten the name of this one oh yeah clever girl there we go um from jurassic park um so yeah we've got a mixture of four plies and double knits there um and they're great fun now, taking a step back again so that I can squidge them all in, we've got three rows of all wool but ends wool. Um, the, I, I'm, Emma sent me some new bits in for the opening, so that third row there is all new stock and they're gorgeous. I especially love these uh, sort of unicorn almost colours down this side here. Um, but the, the ones that everybody covets are these ones here, which are the Merino Yak Silk Singles, one of, one of which has been crocheted up into this moonlit shawl by um, Wendy, who helps here in the shop. Um, the row below is a mother and daughter team called Mamma Me. Um, that's some of their yarn. They also do hand spun and fibre. So... We'll come to some more of their bits in a minute. Um, and down at the bottom, we've got Dina's Home of Crafts. And I believe Dina's sending me some new bits soon as well. Um, 
another step over and we have five rows, if you can see all of those, of Truly Hooked. Um, Verity's been Brill um, and when I, I saw her at um, festival a couple of weekends ago, she just said, bring bags, take extra stock, it's fine. <laughs> um, so we've got a really good selection of truly hooked colourways, um, including some of her um, sort of more popular ones. So we've got Mystic. Is it Mystic? I'm, I'm doubting myself now. Yes, Mystic. And we've got these three, which she tells me are usually sort of paired together. So it's Riverbed, Pebble Dash and Rambling River. There we go. Um, along with all of the the, the single colours as well at the top there. So we've got quite a rainbow going on. Uh, these two rows at the top here are Woolly Wumpkins. Um, I've known Michelle for Oh, donkey's years since both our kids were in cloth nappies. Um, and that was, to be honest, that was how I first came into hand, hand dyed yarns was, was knitting wool covers for cloth nappies. And Woolly Wumpkins was one that I often chose. Um, so we've got some lovely, lovely colours up there from her. Um, the bottom row of which again arrived this morning. So those are fresh out. Below that, we've got some silks, um, which have been supplied by Yarn Crafting Coven. Uh, we've got some more of them in a minute, so I'll get to them. And then down here, we've got two rows of Knitter Scarlet. Um, Kath's fab, she lives on Anglesey and uh, she does lots of sort of one-off colourways and that sort of thing and she has a lot of fun sort of just playing with the colours as you can see um so we've got a good selection so if you're if you're looking for sort of local north wales variegated yarns she's a good one to go for um then over here these are the yarn crafting coven goodies so we've got lots of silks so we've got beaded silks glitters sequins and then we've got recycled sari silks in a variety of different ways so we've got these ones which you you, you don't you, you come across relatively um frequently with the the the, the spun up fibers but then you've got these which i hadn't come across before which are lovely they're ribbon strips um, sewn together to make a great long yarn um, of recycled sari silk there as well um, and these ones are a mixture of recycled wood and silk um, and then down the bottom we've got some Welsh wool as well um, that has been that hasn't been dyed it's just as is um, and then we've up the top here we've got please, ex please excuse this that wibbly um the uh electric lights seem to be playing havoc with the phone um so up this up the top here we've got hooking marvelous and a couple of skeins left of woolly mama and then we've got a couple of skeins left of hey j as well um, i'm hoping to get some more of all of these in shortly but they're it's got to the point where they all need to share a shelf now because <laughs> um, they were running a bit low and then we've got some gorgeous hand dyed um, and or hand spun art yarns and uh, just gorgeous yarns. So we've got yeah, sort of ribbony ones there um, and we've got locks, we've got coil spun, all sorts. They're, they're just gorgeous. This one is this one is one of my favourites. So this row here is Mamma Me, that's the, the mother-daughter team that I that I mentioned earlier that also does spinning and fibre. And then up here we've got two new hand spinners. Um, so this one is the spinning shed, as you can see. And then over this side we've got Rainbow Punk. And then down here we've got some from Spindlebury, which is Mag. Maggie Oliver and she's lovely she's been really really enthusiastic and supportive and she said as you can see she sent me some lovely hand spun um, and she tells she tells you everything about 
the wool and where it's come from um, so you know exactly where you, exactly what you're getting um, and over here we've got some but not all of um, the abacairn fibre so same dyer as we first saw um, she's got this shelf here so got a variety of different fibres and they've all been all been hand dyed uh, and then up the top we have the gorgeous cat and sparrow bats um, these are always popular um, they, they don't often last when I get them in they usually disappear reasonably quickly and you can see why they're just they're just beautiful um, I need to find some time to spin um, and then down here we've got Mam and Me again so we've got their hand dyed yarn so again we've got a good selection of different fibres in there um, including some unusual ones so Merino Dolls I never heard of before but it's you can see how just how squishy it is it's lovely um, and then we've got an ever dwindling amount of fibre, so we, we, we sort of silk throwsters waste and tuss of silk bats and things like that, and a couple of the, a couple of hand carded bats as well. Um, so yeah, that's that's all the um, oh up here as well. We've got some local Shetland uh, undyed, um, but it's it's lovely, and that's by a local. Uh, a local sheep breeder called Jenny Frost. Um, that's uh, that's who I've got those for, and she's a member of the local guild as well. So yeah, um, so that's my uh, that's my new yarn shop and other crafts shop. Yes, sorry, forget those. Um, this is my no this is my craft shop. Um, I hope that you like it, and I hope that you'll come in and visit soon. Thanks. Bye.